Before we begin our adventures, we must mention our collaborators, Anna Luisa. Well, hang on, I'm telling you who they are. Anna Luisa is a sustainable jewelry company who's been carbon neutral since January 2020. Oh, give them a hand, do. You can trace all of their materials, as they are very open about where they source everything and why they chose specific materials to make your jewelry. And if you still aren't satisfied, they have a 365-day warranty, as well as speedy delivery worldwide. Oh, you want to see the jewelry, do you? So the first earring I chose are the Michelle Gold Coin Earrings. These are a collaboration between Michelle Choi and Anna Luisa. She's the creator of the Living Alone Diaries in New York City. Oh my God, I love her so much. I love these earrings because they're still really, really classy and yet funky at the same time. And I feel like that is like my ultimate style goal destination because I feel like I'm a very, very funky person, but I still want to be classy. And I want to have those kinds of earrings where I can go to like a really, really big function and yet still have a little bit of a statement. You know what I mean? The next one I chose are the Abbey earrings. These are again, super classy and yet funky at the same time. I love how like little sh short and cute they are and yet they still make a statement. I don't know, I feel like these earrings remind me of like power women from the 80s when they had like big hair and big shoulder pads and then they put like, you know, like a big statement earring over here. I feel like that totally fits my style because I have like really big hair and like, I don't know, I love shoulder pads. I love 80s styles. So this like totally fits with my aesthetic. So Ana Luisa offers a range of prices from $39 and up, and they're actually having a summer sale till August 20th. The entire site is 20% off. So I'm going to link their site in the description below. These pieces are a great treat for yourself or someone you've caught feelings for either platonically or romantically. But for now, let's go shopping. The first place I went to is the secret vintage boutique called Golden Age Vintage. It's actually run by my friend's sister and fellow Orthodox Jew, Meira Hirsch, who specializes in modest, high-end designer vintage. She runs it out of her back house, and I love how she purposefully curates pieces for people who prefer a more covered fit. I almost every day wear a wide brim fedora. This one's extra wide. These necklaces are vintage. They're both early 90s. So this is a vintage tee and a really random find. I found this a couple years ago in a consignment shop and I wear it all the time. I it's love it. Easy to just throw on. I'm wearing Doc Martens here. I like the extra platform on these. Twinsies. And we're matching. <laughs> okay, my little Alexandra running around in this. Why is it? Why a self-vintage shoe? <laughs> I don't know why it's his favorite thing in the store. He just comes in and goes straight to it every time. What's your name? I'm Five Guy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm a musician. I do music, fashion designer, a lot of other things. But uh, this is my man with the gourmet lungs. Hi, hello. Hello, hello. hello. So, this is, so this is your line? Yes, this is my brand, Gourmet Lungs. Amazing. Can you tell me a little bit about it? What, uh, what inspired you to do it? Gourmet Lungs started because I like cannabis. My mantra is everything is gourmet. The lifestyle, the air we breathe in, the moment we in right now. And uh, the mission is to get back to those affected by um, drugs, whether young, old, imprisoned, or uh, just disabilities, mental health, things of that nature. So. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> you guys do this out of your car. Yeah, right out the trunk. You know, old school, back in the old days. You made those? Like Japanese how? fabric. It's called Obi. It's Obi? Japanese built ladies that they use to wrap around the kimonos. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I took it and started making pants out of it. Where are your pants from? Love them. I made them. You made them? Yeah, <laughs> You're so ones. talented. Yeah, I made them. <laughs> I made these too. I made those too. You made those too? Yeah. Dude, oh my god. <laughs> On the corner of Melrose and Fairfax is the Melrose Trading Post, a giant flea market held every Sunday at Fairfax High School. The first stall I found sold vintage and hand-printed Japanese kimonos. What's called a haori, H-A-O-R-I, is basically a kimono coat. Kimono is worn in layers. It starts with under kimono, which are these. So this is an under kimono right here. Kimono. The kimono. I see. And then the haori. Beautiful. It's always usually contrasting colors. How do I look? Beautiful. Oh, wow. Turn around slowly, like, show the back. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Honestly, I found so many cool stalls, I don't even know where to start. 
I found one stall dedicated to old vintage cameras, another one dedicated to handcrafted leather jewelry. I even found someone selling quirky antique clothing out of a pink trailer. The whole place had this like decrepit tea party vibe, which was like really honestly so awesome. I also found the coolest Korean streetwear brand, which honestly, I wanted all of their clothing, but I couldn't justify shelling up $50 for a t-shirt, even if it had Basquiat on it. I then went deeper into Melrose to American Rebel, although for some reason the sign says slow. This place is hands down my favorite vintage store in LA. They sell clothes from the 40s to the 90s, but at an affordable price. Their stuff usually sells for around $30, which might be pricier than a Goodwill, but if we're talking about a pure silk dress from the 50s or authentic 70s leather, I'm willing to shell out an extra $20. I feel like someone's grandma who wants to go to a wedding, so she fished this out of her closet where it's been in for like the past 40 years. Further up in La Brea is high-end vintage boutique The Way We Wore. I've never seen anything like it, as this place curates clothing all the way from the Victorian era to the 21st century. Upstairs, they also have a loft filled with red carpet looks through the decades. I have no doubt some celebrity stylist has dipped into here before for some vintage Dior or Valentino. Back on Melrose, I entered Second Street Fashion, which is a Japanese-based thrift store brand who did not let me film inside. I also stumbled upon a rival flea market across the street from the Melrose Trading Post, whose main point of attraction is its free entry, as the Melrose Trading Post cost $5 to get inside. Ellie Sheva. Hi. And y'all already know Rachel <laughs> from yeah. the other thrifting video. We're in LA together. Yes. Are you following me? What? Are you stalking me? I got here first. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I then made my way to Recess, a vintage consignment store specializing in vintage formal and evening wear. Everything looked so beautiful and honestly I wanted the entire store but it was way too out of my budget. I also visited American Vintage on Melrose. The place has this grungy western feel with tons of cowboy boots and 70s blouses, but also a lot of black band tees and sweatshirts. Okay, I wasn't able to find that much this time around because for some reason, the thrift shops in LA are so overpriced, like ridiculously overpriced. But I did get some stuff. The first thing I got is this vintage 70s kimono jacket. He said that it's from the 70s because apparently the bold coloring in here is a very 70s print. It's also pure silk. You can wear it open and flowy, maybe with some Doc Martens, but you can also close it up, I feel like, and put a belt around it and turn it into this like really chic dress that I can totally see myself walking down like Fifth Avenue in in New York City. I sent it to my friend Rika and I was like, look, I got a hoodie. And she was like, ooh, so cute. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, thank God. Thank God it's not fuzzy. Oh my god. Oh my god, I was bringing this in and there's like red lipstick stains on my dress. I don't know what touched it. I need to wash this right now. I've literally been at this for like an hour. Okay, so thankfully the dry cleaners did take out the stain. Thank God, thank God, I'm so happy. So this dress, at first I was like, oh my gosh, like is this from the 40s? Because like what dress has buttons all the way down the back where you actually need like assistance to go into? But then like the shoulder pads are so 80s. But then I looked at the tag and it says like Brioche, California. And then I looked it up and it's totally from the 80s. So this dress is totally 80s. It looks amazing on me. I just feel like I need to tuck it in a little bit, like take it to the tailors, get it tucked in a little bit at the waist, sew up the slit in the back, and then it will be perfect. Once again, thank you so much, Ana Luisa, for collaborating with me on this video. Once again, they are having a summer sale till August 20th. Everything is 20% off. I'm gonna link their site in the description below. Oh my god, I literally, I love these earrings so much. I love wearing them mismatched because they're both gold and yet they still like match together. Anyway, till next week. I finally found a dress that was like modest and covered my knees and made me look amazing. Oh, please, Hashem, please, 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 please save this dress, please.